In this question, we're asked to work out 54.6 multiplied by 4.3. And multiplying with decimal points might seem a little bit intimidating, but it's just the same thing as multiplying as normal. And so this question is worth three marks. The first mark is to kind of temporarily ignore the decimal place and just multiply 546 times 43. And the second mark is for actually getting that calculation correct. And that last mark will be to make sure we put the decimal point back in the right place, which we'll get on, which we'll move on to later in this video. And so we'll start by calculating 546 multiplied by 43, and we can do this using grid method. So we can split 546 up into 500, 40, and 6, and then we can do the same for 43, with 40 and 3. So with grid method, we multiply each column and each row individually. So we have here 500 times 40. So 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And then we're going to add those three zeros at the end, which I'm just highlighting. So 500 times 40 is equal to 20,000. Then we have 40 times 40, which is the same kind of idea. 4 times 4 is 16, plus the two zeros, which is 1,600. 6 times 40, 6 times 4 is 24 plus a zero, we end up with 240. Then 500 times three, five times three is 15, plus the two zeros from the 500, and we end up with 1,500. Three times 40, well, three times four is equal to 12, plus another zero, which is 120. And finally, we have six times three, which is equal to 18. So 546 multiplied by 43 is equal to 20,000 plus 1,600 plus 240 plus 1,500 plus 120 plus 18, which is equal to 23,478. So now we need to work out where the decimal point goes in our final answer. So the numbers that we started off with were 54.6 and 4.3. And so we manipulated these numbers to get 546 and 43. So we need to go back and figure out what it is that we did. We started off with 54.6. Now to get to 546, we multiplied this by 10. And now let's look at 4.3. We started off with 4.3, and to get to 43, we multiplied by 10. But this isn't actually the question, because the question was 54.6 times 4.3. So we multiplied both numbers by 10, which means we multiplied a total of 10 times 10, which is 100. So our answer for 546 multiplied by 43 is actually 100 times larger than 54.6 times 4.3. So now we can use place value to look at this. We have 23,478, but we need to divide by 100 in order to get the answer for 54.6 multiplied by 4.3. So the decimal point, any normal number, stays at the very end. But because we're dividing by 100, we want to move it back not just one place, but two places. And the decimal point will end up being right here. So the answer to our question, 54.6 multiplied by 4.3 is equal to 234.78 and we can write this in the answer box below 54.6 multiplied by 4.3 is 234.78